bitches on me bust. I'm ballin' no discussion. I tell her shorty bust. I tell her shorty bust. I fuck her, I don't trust. No chopper in this rush. We diamonds on me bust. So this is a question for both of y'all, Luca, Kyrie. Y'all saw the doubters that were saying that y'all wouldn't work. Kyrie, a couple months ago, you talked <laughs> about the D grade that ESPN gave y'all. Could y'all talk about just, D? yeah, they gave him a D rating for the trade from the Nets. So could, could y'all. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, I wanted to ask y'all, how, it, all -star game to how does it feel player. to prove the doubters wrong? <laughs> uh, I don't think we care. Uh, we enjoy playing with each other. Uh, we enjoy playing with this team, so uh, I don't, we don't really care what other people have to say. I just want to thank each one of you guys, man. Uh, all your sacrifices, all the things that you guys are doing when no one's watching. It's tru truly appreciated, and um, all the words of affirmation that we're giving each other go a long way, man. So keep the positivity going. The job's not finished, but we can definitely celebrate this one. This was hard. It was tough. Oh, man, we got to talk, y'all. Game sevens, two of the game sevens just finished. Watch both. It's going to be Wolves versus Mavs in the Western Conference Finals. Pacers versus Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Dallas Mavericks. I have to apologize again to, to Google Dodgers. I have to apologize to the Dallas Mavericks team. So, in today's video, we're going to, again, talk about Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks have proved me wrong again. What's good, y'all? It's boy. We're back and get with another video. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I, listen, I'm a person that I, I, I admit, I'm admit, always admit when I'm wrong, okay? Previously, a couple of days, like a week ago, I dropped a video that I ain't gonna lie, I unlisted because I knew it was gonna happen. I already picked the Mavs and Sits, and I was right. But after looking at game one, I was like, Ugh. OKC looks very good, and they look very young. They look very, you know, fast. They, their offense was, I, I feel like the offense was gonna be tough to beat because of really just Luca and Kyrie. You know, Luca didn't really look healthy in game one. Okay. Luca this ha has not looked healthy his whole playoffs. To be honest, he hasn't. But when it counts the most, he shows up. Okay. It was the rest of the team that I was worried about for Dallas. The PJ Washingtons, the Tim Hardaways, okay, the Daryl Livelys, Daniel Gafford. After game one PJ Washington has showed he's he was the best player in the series, other than obviously Luca for the Dallas Mavericks versus OKC. He was the best player. He's been he was he's been hooping the whole series versus OKC. He showed up. The rest of the player if Dallas has the rest of the players showing up for the team. Dallas can go to the finals. Yeah. Kyrie didn't really play that well this whole series. He didn't. He had one decent game, but the, the, the game that he had the most points was 22 points, and that was game six. Daniel Gafford and Derek Lively showed up in the series. They showed out, and they really shut down Chet Holmgren a little bit. Chet Holmgren was solid, but he wasn't, you know... Like I said, OKC has a bright future, okay? OKC is going to be just fine. But it was really the opposite of what I thought. It was really just Shea showing up. Shea was doing everything, okay? Dallas defense impressed me in this series. They, they, their defense really impressed me, right? And nobody's going to talk about their defense. Because even if myself, I was always critical of their defense. This, this series, they was really good. Defending at a high level, especially versus Jalen Williams and the other key players around the team, especially Chet Holmgren. The whole 
Dallas team, if they showed up like they did versus OKC after game one versus the Wolves, listen, I want I want Dallas to go to the finals. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm rooting for Luka, rooting for Kyrie, right? But I also rooting for Ant Man. Okay. But listen, let's get back to the series. What changed everything is PJ Washington. He was able to knock down open shots. He was able to get to the rim. He was able to defend at the best ability he can. can. And Derrick Jones Jr. also. Those two players changed the whole complexity of the series. Because now Dallas has more options to spread the floor. Now Luka could pass it to anybody in the corner other than Kyrie. Now you got P.J. Washington. Now you got Derrick Jones Jr. Now you got Tim Hardaway knocking down shots. Now you got Daniel Gafford coming to the basket. Same thing with Derrick Lively. You got Derrick Lively blocking shots defensively and being that anchor offensively, getting lobs, right? Getting dunks, getting rebounds. Now, Luka. I'm never going to doubt Luka. I, 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 I never want to doubt Luka, but Luka just has been healthy playoffs. It don't matter. This dude... It don't matter what what kind of injury he got. He's going to play through it, and he's been playing through it. Even at his, this is not him. This is definitely not him at his best, and he's still just dominating, like just controlling the pace of the game. That's what he did in Game Five. Game Five, he was spectacular, despite him not even looking healthy. But he looked he looked healthy in Game Five. It was literally so. Identical with the game five versus the Clippers. How he how he controlled the pace of that game. With Kyrie being the sidekick and taking a step back, like, look, Luca, this is your team. I'm, I'm gonna get my buckets, right? But you're gonna control the pace. And that's what he's doing. This whole playoffs, he's controlling the pace. Despite him, despite his injury. And now Jason Kidd, with the adjustments he made. By putting the big man more in the game, getting more getting more size in there to you know confuse and frustrate Chet Homer. because Chet wasn't bad this series, but I he wasn't as good he's been in the regular season. He was he was he was frustrated for the last three. I'm telling you, because Daniel Gaffer and Daryl Lively they was catching lobs again. They was getting anything at once. Okay. For OKC, like I said, Shea was really just doing everything. The rest of the team was very inconsistent after game one, right? What impressed me this whole series, I, I could easily say Luka. I could easily say Peter Washington. I could easily say Derrick Jones Jr. It's the defense for the Dallas Mavericks that impressed me this series. They play defense like that versus the Wolves. Look out. Look, Luca. Um, I'm sorry. I don't care what kind of injury you got. You know, I'm never going to doubt you, bro. You just one of those, you know. Um, and Dallas, I apologize. Y'all made some key adjustments after game one, and I'm rooting for y'all. I'm rooting for y'all in this series, Rituals. That's all I got to say for this video, man. If y'all enjoyed, give it a like, subscribe, channel new. I'm dropping Money to the Wizzy every week. Turn on post for notifications so you get notified for another video I'm going to drop because I'm dropping another one after this one. I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video to be on board.